America's favorite pastime isn't football, it's jerking off to blondes. Hi, I'm Patty Big Tits, America's oldest living porn star, and I'll be your masterclass instructor. I'll be teaching you all the ins and outs of the porn industry. Well, mostly the ins. All you need is your body and a camera. My voice doesn't sound like this from the cigarettes. No, it's from all the penises I've deep-throated. If you want to avoid STDs, don't do porn. It's like going to Italy and not getting the gelato. My favorite flavor of gelato is stradicelli. Funny enough, that's what I call my herpes. Italy is beautiful this time of year. People ask me all the time, Patty, how do you do something as intimate as letting a man motorboat your breasts and not fall in love? But the answer is simple. I always fall in love. I always do. And it's always with a homosexual. It's just my luck. Oh yeah, JFK was gay. Big time homo. Having trouble thinking up your first porno? Here are some ideas. Lesbian clowns. Boob hospital. Stepdaughter university. Fake orgasm girl compilation. Grandma and granddaughter fuck IRL OMG. And four pilots fucking me in the ass. My breakout role was when I starred in Oregon Trail, the porno. I died of dysentery, but I still made love with a horse. If you're gonna make love with a horse, make sure he has a horse micro penis. And make sure he's respectful. If you wanna be a porn star, you're not gonna make it in this industry without a really, really small vagina or a really, really big one. Guess which one I have. And if you haven't guessed at home by now, I have a really, really big vagina. Mental health? But your brain isn't in your vagina. Next question. No, it's a myth that women can orgasm. Unless there's another woman present. Penises are like snowflakes. They come from above you and they ruin your outfit. Everyone on set loves that one. I've been telling that one for 50 years. It's funny, right? Did you, did you laugh? Porn can be dangerous sometimes. Back in 84, both my boobs popped. You have implants? No, no, the naturals. The doctor that put them in said so himself. I was actually roommates with Marilyn Monroe in college. Funny enough, we both studied film, but our lives, they went in separate directions. One of us became a big movie star, and the other one is dead. Life is funny like that sometimes. What are you drinking? Oh, it's cranberry juice. I've been battling the same UTI since 1980. Doctors don't want you to know that the number one preventative for arthritis is giving hand jobs. You know, all my girlfriends have arthritis, but I don't because of all the hand jobs. <laughs> There's too many horses in this industry that are divas. You can't find a respectable horse these days. They don't make them like they used to. I know where my brain is. It's where the penises go. My head. 